Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Mate, you should see all the things they've bloody started on this one. Now, bit of history. This is a 2012 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado LC150, right? March 2012 built. It's done about 280,000 Ks with the original injectors, and he says that it runs great. And this is the issue. They do run great, which is awesome. But they do, when they're not running great, the software package will hide the problems as well, which is difficult to pick up. Now, a few issues. As soon as um, we open the bonnet, I was here with the client, the usual sort of stuff, we noticed these sort of clips missing, which we've already sort of replaced a couple of those while we're at it because we can't stand it. There's still another one of it's things like that missing. Now, the first things that I saw was, can you actually believe it, how bad it was? All these clips, right? These were just like that. So I'll get rid of this light. I just needed to get rid of that other light out of my hand. So yeah, all these clips, see they're closed like that. We haven't touched those. That one, I promise you, that one, that one, client saw it as well, and that one. Look how butchered it is. Look how much they've roughed it up. It's rough as guts. It's rough, rougher than me. Right, look at that. It's just easy. To, look at look at around that side. How butchered all that is. Oh, you know, it's really hard. And they've just left, that's how it was, right? Now, of course, we've gone further. One of the first things we noticed is there is a crack in the valve cover. Wait till you hear the stories, right? Now, the fuel pipes of, so the, so, let's just recap for those people that are new. If you're new, you need to go back and watch all the videos, inject the information, you need to study that. You need to subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss the best information. This is real stuff. Client tells me this has been serviced at Nutter Wadding Toyota every 10,000 Ks, okay? Now, that's, a fact based on what the client told me has got no reason to tell me otherwise. This isn't hang it on another wanting Toyota. This is share the real information and the real actual fact of the matter. Fact of the matter is, by the service book, not my recommendation, but by the service book, the valve clearances are supposed to be checked every 40,000 Ks. That would, to do it properly, includes removing the fuel pipes completely, removing the valve cover, removing the injectors, and includes replacing the injector seats. But as we already know, this rarely gets done at all, and when it does get done, they don't remove it completely, they undo the pipes, they bend the pipes back, we call it a jack-in-the-box, which is what's happened on this one. Even though they've had to replace the fuel pipes twice, is what the client told me. These are 125 bucks each of these pipes, right? They've had to replace the pipes twice because they had fuel leaks. He got the car back, you know, fuel leaks, this sort of thing. You know what? The valve clearances aren't going to be out. Don't touch it. Unless you've got a catch can. We talk about catch cans on other videos. Check that out. It takes out the oil. It's not the problem. It's not the EGR system. The EGR system, then you've left with dry abrasive soot, just like dust from your air intake if you didn't have an air filter in there, right? I'm not saying any of these systems are there to prevent that. It's just the way it works out. Once you put a catch can on, amongst other problems, it takes some of the oil out, which is the glue, and then all the exhaust gas recirculation hasn't changed it's going through here into your intake dry and abrasive and just wait till we show you this intake check this one out right anyway we'll get to that in a minute but all the damage that's been done to this vehicle this is one owner he's had this since new he loves it it's his pride and joy and you know what it's running well and everything's great well until we pop the bonnet and first we find this they've over tightened the valve cover which we've talked about a number of times in videos i'm going to try and get down and show you you won't see an oil leak yeah, that's the good news, but this video will be sent to the client so he can decide whether he wants to spend the 350 bucks on the valve cover or because of the butchers. These butchers, they're just costing themselves money, you know? Comebacks, inconvenience of clients, wasting money on fuel pipes, wasting labor time, and guess who's paying for it? Yep, you guessed it. This valve cover down the back corner here, I'm gonna try and see that crack, there you go, you can see it real easy. That is quite simply from over tightening the valve cover. Now. We're lucky it's not a crack somewhere further up where we've demonstrated before and it causes oil leaks. Sometimes the one at the side there where that nut is, is the one they over tighten. You over tighten these covers that you will crack them and they may leak oil. It's gonna cost yourself or whoever is gonna pay for it, 350 bucks for a cover plus a lot of labor to get in there. And if you've already had your injectors done, then the risk of contamination, as we've described before, all the dirt and everything accumulates down in those nozzle seals, and the risk of contamination to the injectors is way too high. And you know, I just about put my money on it. These injectors have had rubbish go through them. And, but wait, there's more. Now, here we go. Look, the injector solenoid. We unplugged the injector and look what we got there. We've got a solenoid of an injector that's broken. So, 
that sort of leads me to believe that maybe they have even had the injectors out. Perhaps they have. We don't know. This vehicle, like I said, nearly uh, nearly 300,000 Ks, about 280, I think, right? You can see back in 17, it was on 151. It does some Ks, right? You can see that on the timing belt sticker. No, it hasn't had the BFE job done. That's something that will be happening sooner in the near future. Might be happening as part of this job because if we've got to pull the manifold off, right, we've got to drop the coolant, get all these hoses, the EJ cooler out of the way. We're doing the coolant, then we may as well bring the 300,000 K service back in early and do the BF, BFE at the same time. BFE is not bacon and fried eggs, it's the big front engine job. Okay, so, I ha have I missed things? Absolutely I have. Now, there's on the Pratas, there's a cover that goes over the cover, and there's a couple of bolts. On the Hilux, you might see these empty, that's why. The bolts go into this cover here, all right? And they're M8s, probably eight by 1.25, taking a guess, I can't remember. Um, M8, whatever a standard M8 is, and the heads on them are 12 mil. Right, and have a look at this. This is what they got in there, some aftermarket, right? They're M8s, right? Looks like 1.25 to me, right? Anyway, 13 mil heads, aftermarket rubbish. Like, is it that hard to keep the damn correct bolts for the job sitting on the bench neatly so that when you put it back together, it goes back together properly? Now, yeah, I suppose this is go this video is going to go on in the playlist called My Rants. It's going to go in the playlist called Injector Information. So if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, check it. If you want to hear me whinging and carrying on like this, you go into the My Rants playlist. If you want to learn more about injectors, and I warn you again, okay, it's real stuff. Be very careful who you take your vehicle to. And some people think, oh, you know, Toyota, Toyota's great, mate. In Japan, design, development, building, building cars and all that, you know. They can maybe make mistakes and whatever, but they're the best vehicles. Where it all goes wrong, the parts and the quality, everything's awesome. Where it all goes wrong is when the wrong people work on your vehicle, wrong procedures, not enough training, not enough care. You know, we don't want to have too much pride, but enough to get the job done right, if you know what I mean. And having to replace the pipes twice for fuel leaks, cracking tops of injectors... Um, the jack-in-the-box on the pipes from bending them up, oh, it's just, there's no end to it. But let's just take a quick look at this uh, intake. This is going to be one of those ones that the photos are going to get sent to the client. Right, let's go and have a bit of a look, right? That's not the worst one we've seen, but it's one of the worst ones we tend to see. And what needs to happen, we need to clean what we can see there out to have a look up the manifold. But I... Because this is the problem we've got. Immediately you want to go, oh, that's terrible. Now I've got to pull the mat off, fold off and clean it. It's, it's, it's got to get done. And if it's only your own time, absolutely go ahead and do it. Follow the videos carefully. Take your time. Do your training in the VIP group before you do it so that you can avoid all the pitfalls from these big jobs. But what we find is sometimes is it can be quite confusing, right? It's a trick. It's a trick. They're trying to trick you because it looks really bad, you want to pull it off. We've seen them like that years ago. We'd go, oh yeah, okay, well, let's do it. And we pull it off, and all the ports down here at all the manifold, they're all really clear. And the worst of it's up there, so we don't want to get sucked into that one, because it's about an extra thousand bucks or so, you know, between coolant, gaskets, labor, cleaning, and, it, and it's not a fixed price. It varies depending on how much effort we go to. Obviously, it depends if there's a lot of extra accessories here. It can cost more things in the way, complications on this vehicle. It's not there, so that's good. But how hard is that gear in there going to be Because to clean? We can send them away for cleaning. It's quite expensive. Or we can do it ourselves. It works out about the same, right? So we just clean them. But if it's easier to clean, it's going to save you some money. If it's hard to clean, it's going to cost you some more. So there's no fixed price anything here at the Proto Hospital. It's what it is. Time is time. Time is money, whatever. And if the job takes a bit longer, it'll be a bit more. And if it's a bit easier, it'll be a bit less. But we try and keep it fairly consistent. And usually that works out well. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get the injectors replaced, we're going to fix all this stuff up as we go, you know, put all the right nuts and bolts in where we have them available, fix up all these clips, clamp all the wires properly. There was a zip tie in the cover here as well, they broke that, there was no need for, just busted stuff, that they just leave busted in the wiring loom, flopping around. To be quite honest, looking at the wires, I believe they've been pulled on too much, and just see the way, we've just taken off carefully the way they were, but see the big kinks in the wires like that? I don't even want to straighten it. I don't like it, you know what I mean? Like, wires aren't made. And see how you can see that little mark on the pink just out? See, it? see it's a bit shiny there, right? That's like it's been yanked on, and this is the problem. All of these wires, they've been messed around with too much. They're tiny little... What's the word? Somebody put the word in the comments. They're, um, 
they're tender, they're, um, well, what's the word, mate? Can you give me a word? Can you think of a word for something for you need to be soft, gentle there? They're not, they're not brittle, they're, um, they're, you've got to treat them really. Anyway, whatever, I haven't got the word. Huh? Delicate, delicate, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, assistant. Bingo, wins, that's it, he beat you to it. You can put something else in the comments, but they're not really that delicate. I don't want to make them sound like they're weak or they're a problem, they're just perfectly fit for purpose. But people need to be, their workmanship needs to be fit for purpose. And it's not, people are big and heavy and rough and they're in a hurry and rip it all out and, you know, you just got to be really gentle and just squeeze the clips and carefully slide it back. You don't even, don't touch the wire. You're not pulling any wires or anything. Don't rush, you're going to slip and yank the wire. So, you know, if we have any issues with this, it's because of all the butchers for the last 280,000 Ks, where it's been, what they've done to it, how many times, over and over again. If it was up to me, you know what would have happened. No valve clearance check at 40, 80, 120. Save all that money. Guess what? Save the 160 as well. That's four valve clearance checks you get to save all the labour from. That's almost probably a free set of injectors. Then at, uh, at about 170, 180, 190, somewhere between the 160 and the 200 mark, I'm going to get the injectors out. We're going to do all the work. We need to do the receipt. We need to check the valve clearances because we do need to periodically do that. I'd suggest every 150, 200. When your injectors need doing, that's when your valve clearances need checking as long as you haven't got a catch can. Otherwise, you might need to go back to every 40,000 because they can close up really quickly wearing the valve seats with all that dry soot. Okay, so what I recommend is you just do the injectors because if you do them that often, that's when you've got to do your, you can, it's like free injectors and you're going in there to do the job, you're paying the labour, what are you going to reseat them and everything and do all this work and not replace them? They're free because you just didn't waste your money at 40, 80, 120, 160, get it? All the money you've saved doing hours of work to check the valve clearances pays for your injectors. So my service schedule's the best. I hope you liked the video, hit the like button. I personally, I loved it. I reckon it's just bang, awesome video. Careful where you go, keep watching the videos, get yourself educated, help some other people. We all need to help out everybody, each other as much as we can, especially the way things are going in this world. Um, you know, I think that's what everybody needs to do. Share the videos, help people out. And just a quick one for the new people that did watch to the end, why aren't I in the video? Isn't there enough famous people in the world already, enough famous faces? Well, we don't need any more. It's not about me, it's about helping you. Hope you liked it. Subscribe, turn the bell on. Bada bing, I'm out of here. See ya.